Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Notebook Review video and I'll be presenting the Moleskine 2022 Weekly Planner which I have it right here. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you love and appreciate thinking outside the box, please go ahead and subscribe. If you're looking for more notebook review videos, there will be links in the description box below. So I just picked up the Moth Skin 2022 Weekly Planner and uh, today I'll go over with you some of the specs and we'll take a look at it what's inside. So I have uh, some of the specs right on this card uh, for better understanding. So this is a pocket no notebook which is you know size A6 and we're looking at 3.5 by 5.5 inches or 9 by 14 centimeter and the paper uh, we have here is 70 GSM uh, ivory colored paper and then it's just some additional tools inside which are um, time zones planning uh, international measurements and then we have uh, dialing codes uh, flight duration and global holidays and uh, the notebook comes with elastic closure and then it should lie flat uh, you know once you open it and then it has uh, a ribbon bookmark and uh, expandable pocket inside it so here are the basic or important specs which I right here and now let's open the notebook so I'm just going to remove this paper cover and we're going to quickly take a look at inside so it has just some information uh, on here and on the back you can see that there's a calendar and which can turn into a desk calendar the instructions are all right here so once you go follow the instructions it should look like you know a desk calendar something like this so I'll just put it back So this is the first page and here in case of loss please return to and you can even declare a reward and then this is a thick paper and this is just in you know, all the personal information uh, for example the name telephone number email and everything and also there's this place for credit card number uh, passport number but I wouldn't put any sensitive information on this on here you know because in case of loss uh, you know you're just exposing yourself to scammers so here we have 2022 calendar and then here we have you know 2022 month uh, each month is one page so here we have January here we have February and then it just you know continues and then once it ends then you have 2023 so one thing I noticed that it's very hard to see uh, you know if you're not uh, viewing very clearly it's not that it's not that you know the camera or anything it's just that's the way it is it's very kind of very hard to see so you know um, I wouldn't recommend this to someone who have uh, or who do not have very like you know good eyesight so it's kind of not easy on eyes as well and here we have the global holidays for 2021 and there's kind of a chart you can follow and actually there's the name of the country starting from Argentina and it goes on and then you have like you know a month uh, here January to February so you have to just match your country to find the a holiday and then here we have uh, the time zones and here basically you can just find time anywhere uh, in the world and then here's like you know uh, the guide how many hours to deduct or add and let's take a look here so here we have some you know uh, measures uh, measurements and conversions so for example we have here area capacity weight volume length and then we have some temperature conversion and speed conversion and then here we have 
Uh, looks like there's like you know even clothes conversions. So there's lots of things I don't see these are necessary. It's just like you know uh, not easy on eyes to read. And even you have uh, dialing codes, and you can just find your like you know uh, where you want to uh, call. The one thing I can see although it's really tiny is that there's like you know tiny box and if you want to like you know kind of highlight or bookmark them you can just check off the box but again it's very difficult to see it's not easy on eyes and then here we have travel planning and you know if you'd like to do some travel planning there's like you know destination date and notes and then here we have my extraordinary moments this year and my blank space okay so let's move forward and actually there's like a ruler and then this is just to measure something so which is even not I haven't I don't think I seen this in a notebook in between pages so if you need to measure something for example let's say it looks like this is going to be two inches from here to here uh, but again I don't see much use of that and then here is the legend so it just tells you like you know which symbol is used for what purpose uh, and then here is the week starting with week one and you can see that you know this is like you know Monday and till Sunday so Saturday and Sunday on one uh, space and then Monday through Friday has its own you know space and then after each week looks like there's a paper to write and again it continues so again you have the second week or yes second week and then again ruled uh, pages so it just you know continues this way and let me just take a look here so you have July we have August September so it looks like it just you know keeps going for the rest of the notebook and then here we have December 24, December 31st, and here a few more blank pages, but these pages are like, you know, has lines on it, or line pages, and that's the end of the notebook. And then here we have the expandable pocket, and there's some stuff in here, it looks like this is empty right now, so we have just a kind of uh, small brochure of Moleskine's history and other information and then looks like there's some stickers as well and we have three different colors so there's uh, black blue and red uh, and then we have another sticker so basically that's all with this notebook so it has both advantages and disadvantages. Uh, the advantages are is that this is very small and handy. You can easily, uh, you know, put it in your pocket, and you can also, you know, keep it with you when you're traveling. And uh, very nice color. It's very lightweight. It even doesn't feel any weight. And then on the negative side, uh, the writings are, you know, very bad. It's very hard to read, especially if you're looking in between the pages where all the information. It's kind of like, you know, uh, it's going to hurt your eyes if you try to find something. And I'm not sure even, uh, you know, in these uh, days anyone is looking for this information right here. It's much easier to go online and just look for these. So I feel like, you know, this information is unnecessary. And also, you know, uh, it's going to hurt your eyes if you try to read them or look at them. And even if you're looking at the notebook, uh, I think it would have been much easier. Uh, it would have been much easier if you know these are like you know uh, brighter color or something different not just like you know matching color with the paper so that's uh, what I think about the notebook but except that everything uh, is okay uh, definitely like you know uh, you cannot go wrong uh, 
because of the price it's not uh, very expensive a regular price is about twenty two dollars Canadian but uh, I got it on sale for about fifteen dollars and I have a feeling that you know if you are buying now definitely you're gonna have more sale or similar type of sale a thirty percent off or twenty percent off uh, so this is definitely come in handy uh, for your planning and other purposes but it might uh, not be too useful for some uh, if you have like you know uh, difficulty reading very tiny letters or numbers then definitely you know this is not going to be helpful or it's going to hurt your eyes if you try to like you know look at it longer or try to like you know work on it uh, because it's not very clear uh, due to the color they used which kind of blends with the paper so that's the review of the Moleskin 2022 weekly uh, notebook diary journal thank you for watching this video and there will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you